Hi and welcome back to my channel and in today's vlog I want to discuss the degradation of our society and I'm going to talk in particular about our South African society and not necessarily global society. Maybe I was brought up in a world or in a home where self-discipline and self-respect was highly valued. I was taught to do things in consideration of others and to respect my elders to respect authority of those in positions of authority and to respect the law and when I did not which often did happen I wouldn't say I was a um, a good youth <laughs> I was rebellious as many others are but when I got on the wrong side of things wrong side of rules albeit school rules or home rules I was sometimes given a hiding what we would term today corporal punishment which is highly frowned upon I can understand why I was given corporal punishment I was I was I feel deserving because the things I did were sometimes not huge on the wrong side but they did go against what I was told not to do by my parents or my school and I broke those rules this is my opinion I suppose but when you grow up and you have no basis of discipline self-discipline and self-respect you cannot understand what it is to have discipline for an environment and respect for people, laws, and other people's property. And once you lose that respect and self-discipline, you become a criminal. If you have never experienced corporal punishment, or any kind of punishment then how can you grow up to understand what it is to have respect for other people's things their laws and their humanity there are individuals out there who can grow up in an environment where they may not need corporal punishment of any sort ever it seems some minds just adjust to it and quickly find that you know what I can be a successful person I understand discipline I understand respect and I am going to practice it and then you do get rebels such as myself. I was quite a bit of a rebel at school and I wouldn't say hidings took it out of me but a good hiding taught me that there are repercussions to behavior which is not positive towards your society or the environment in which you live and I feel that our world is in a generation in which there is very little discipline including self-discipline 
self-respect and respect shown to others. Well, that group of youngsters who <laughs> abuse the system are getting away with abusing the system because nothing is done towards them. We have taken away the ability of corporal punishment in schools and we have now told our teachers find other ways of disciplining children. Really, how do you discipline a rebel who discovers that they are able to get away with doing virtually anything to a teacher in the classroom because the teacher will only talk to them. The headmaster will only talk to them, scold them. You know, a good scolding at times woke me up because I knew my next step after a scolding was a good hiding. In our current society, what comes after a good scolding? More talk? Ooh, more talk hurts. My feelings, oh. Yes, that's sarcasm. And I'm purposefully being sarcastic because what are we teaching our kids? I almost give up. We talk to our kids. We scold them. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, that's, that's what they tell us behind our backs. Yep, yep, yep. That's all they get. Yep, yep, yep. And what's, gonna, what's that going to teach them? Yep, yep, yep. It doesn't hurt them. They don't learn anything from it because words need to be respected to be taken into the mind to teach. Now I do know that a lot of people are going to be completely against my idea of encouraging corporal punishment because in our current society it has become a big no-no. Corporal punishment is now considered child abuse. Yes, corporal punishment can become child abuse if it is not applied by the adult in a correct way. And unfortunately, people will always abuse it. Completely taking it away creates a society in which we lose complete control. When you steal something, you rob someone, you murder someone, commit fraud, and you are caught, you will end up in a courtroom, you will be judged, and you will be given a jail sentence. If corporal punishment is taken away for children, Shouldn't it be replaced by something we can apply that pressure to teach our kids that there are repercussions to certain actions? When they do wrong, people are not just going to talk to you. There's going to be something more. And if we don't teach this to our kids from a very young age, how can we expect them to respect law, have self-discipline, and apply respect to others? If there are no repercussions, why bother? So, what do we replace it with? I can't send my kid to jail. You can't send a six-year-old to jail. Would that be child abuse? So we need to find a way of 
applying punishment. And no, standing in a corner for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, a half an hour, even an hour, does not work. That's like saying to an adult, oh, you stole a car. Go stand in the corner for an hour. You murdered someone. Oh, go stand in the corner for two days. It's not a punishment. If you want to teach children respect, discipline, those two most important things, and including self-discipline and self-respect, at this stage I feel corporal punishment is apt. It works. It worked on me. And I'm sure a lot of you out there, it worked on you. To those of you out there who received corporal punishment, has it made you a bad person? And I'm not talking about those who were abused. I'm talking about those people who got corporal punishment because they were rebellious, naughty. When you got corporal punishment as punishment for bad deeds, did that make you a bad person? So if we are not allowed to apply corporal punishment, how are we supposed to make our kids better people? Or should we just hope, talk to them, put them in corners for half an hour, an hour, two hours, two days? If I put my kid in the corner for, for 10 days, wouldn't that be child abuse? Well, if I'm an adult and I steal a car, are they going to put me in a corner for 10 days? Would that not be human abuse? Anyway, these are my thoughts. Use it, don't use it. That's my vlog for the day. And uh, I would really appreciate your comments. And I know this is a very, very sensitive subject. And I know this is uh, sticking the head into a hornet's nest. And uh, it's going to bring up a couple of fights. But it is an honest question that I think us as a society really need to address. Our society is falling apart and I see youngsters who are growing up to become potential problems for themselves and others. And uh, I don't want that. So, uh, yeah, this is to a better future. Catch you next one.